and all over the place today. <laughs> all right. Welcome, everybody. You know, I didn't even feel the earthquake. I got on Facebook and everybody's like, earthquake, earthquake. And I'm like, I guess I was oblivious to it. I did not even feel an earthquake. So, um, which is weird because we're kind of like right on a fault line where we're at. So, um, fortunately, we didn't feel it. <laughs> Come on, my computer's not logging onto the internet. Um, how is everybody doing today? Friday, Friday afternoon. We don't usually do sales Friday afternoon. It's kind of exciting. You slept through it, yeah. Let's see here. Edit. All right, so we're going to be casting on my personal Facebook page today. I'm going to try something a little bit different. Um, we're also going to be on YouTube. Um, and, of course, the Facebook pages. I just have to get over and make sure we've got... Um, I know. Didn't Mary do a wonderful job on her walkthrough this morning? She did such an amazing job giving everybody a tour of knickknacks. It was so good. <laughs> and if you missed it, I did cast it over to the YouTube channel. Um, and it is available also on Facebook. Um, it's available on uh, the Crazy Lamp Lady Facebook. Um, and it is available on the Knickknacks Facebook. So uh, she kind of went through the buyer experience today. Um, kind of showed you the basics of how to get around. And her plan is also to kind of show um, from a seller standpoint, uh, the seller, the seller. So I know not just for newbies. That's right. Not just for newbies. <laughs> All right. I think I just made that change over there. Um, so we should be good. And um, I'm excited for this sale. We've got quite a few things preloaded. So that is great. Um, and I have seen some bits coming through, so that's exciting. Uh, Stage was a great help in getting this stuff preloaded. She was funny. She's like, you know, I really like listing. I was like, do you? She's like, yeah. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, let's do some more listing then. <laughs> she set herself up. Um, all right. So let's go out to the main floor. I've got stuff scattered all over the shop for this sale. <laughs> We've got stuff here on the main floor. We've got stuff in the back. So we're just going to wander aimlessly. And then Shelby was in earlier today processing. So there's fresh stuff on the tables. Oh, man. We've got a great team here. It's wonderful. Um, so as a reminder to our friends who are watching over on Facebook and YouTube, <laughs> you got to come over here to join us on knickknacks.net to participate in this sale. That is where we are hosting the sale. Um, so come on over and join us here. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of um, running the preloaded items. And then we are going to do... <laughs> oh, she liked the rooster. Yeah, she was pretty funny. I pulled it out of my car and she was like, what is that? I'm like, don't worry, we're not shipping it. Um, but yeah, so we're going to uh, we're gonna do a little bit of the preloads. We're going to run through our preloads. And then we're going to do some shop the shop if we have time. Uh, we've got about two hours. About two hours. Um, so, yeah, let's get started. Here we go. Let me turn you guys around. And here we go. All right. So here is the stuff on the cart. We'll start with this stuff. And then maybe I'll take you into the back and we'll go through some of that stuff. Um, we've got post-its, but we're not going to need the post-its until after we get through all the pre-bits. All right, so um, what should we start with? Decisions, decisions. Why don't we start with a piece of glass? I've got a few little little, little, little pieces over here. Um, and don't forget, I do have coffee in the buy it now. If you, you're looking for some coffee, uh, we've got it loaded in the buy it now. I also put in some sticker packs as well. I haven't done that in a while. And it's so good to be selling the sticker packs on knickknacks because I could actually add the uh, the knickknack stickers into. <laughs> so now there's knickknack stickers in there too. Before uh, when I was selling them over on whatnot, I couldn't include the knickknack stickers, but now it's game on. <laughs> 
close out. All right, let me pull this over. Um, <laughs> oh, wonderful, wonderful. All right, so here we go. I think I'm going to start with this little guy. Um, I don't know who makes this. The bottom is really clear. You can kind of see it catching the light there. And it's just like a little pinched dish. You could put a succulent in that. I think we're like a week late for that theme, but it's okay. Um, just a cute little art glass piece. And we're going to start this at $8. It has a pre-bid. Um, and we're going to run it for 30 seconds. There it goes. It's running. Kind of reminds me of like cheetah or uh, leopard spots. <laughs> oh, awesome. Yes, you can pre-bid on items. We I have lots of items pre-loaded thanks to help from Sage. She has been a tremendous help. It does look like tortoise shell. Maybe it's more of a tortoise shell than a cheetah. <laughs> Good call. <laughs> All right, Bandit Johnson, 24 wins. The first item of the sale. Congratulations, Bandit. $18 on our little art glass dish. Yay! <laughs> I'm going to set it down here for you. And we are going to grab another one. Let's see what else. Oh, is Ashton in here? Hey, Ashton. Crazy lamp boy. He was calling me on my way over to the shop. He's like, Mom, what are we having for dinner? <laughs> Can we have Chick-fil-A? <laughs> uh, of course, of course, you yeah. know. All right, let's do this one next. Uh, this is really cute as well. I think this is for a votive. Um, I think like a little votive candle. I would say just a battery powered votive. Um, I wouldn't use an actual flame candle because then it gets like real sooty um, and it kind of, I don't know. I just, I think it gets sooty and then it's not as pretty. So um, we're going to start this at 12. It has a pre-bid um, and it's going to run for 30 seconds. Um, and there it goes. It's running. Um, it does have the threading on it. It looks like it's broken here, but it's not. It's not sharp. I think just when they were we, they were adding that um, that ribbon around the outside, um, it just kind of skipped a spot. So it's not chipped off. Occasionally when they do add threading, it does get chipped, but that's not the case. Oh my gosh, I know. That thing is so gorgeous. It looks amazing. It looks absolutely amazing in the dining room. Hey, Jenny Kay. Okay, so if you're over on Facebook or YouTube, you got to come over here to knickknacks.net in order to join us. And um, that is N-I-K-N-A-X dot net. Um, if you are on my Crazy Lamp Lady page and you want a link to Knickknacks, uh, you can send my page an, a message and you will get an auto reply that includes a link to come on over to Knickknacks. So just send my page a message on Crazy Lamp Lady and you will get a link to come on over. Um, it looks like Scarlet is our winner for $19. Congratulations on this little cutie. Thank you so much for your purchase. I'm going to stick this down here for you right next to Bandits. <laughs> I am doing well, thank you. Today is like one of the first days that is not like dreary and gross and rainy. And it's, an, it's, a, it's a nice day today. It's a nice day. I felt kind of like a Saturday, but it's not a Saturday. <laughs> it's a Friday, so. Um, so next we have this cat shoe. Um, I think this is Fenton. However, I do know they make knockoffs of cat shoes, so maybe I don't know. I feel like this is a daisy and button cat shoe. Maybe I shouldn't say it's Fenton or not um, because they do make knockoffs of the cat shoes. Um, I'm going to, do we have a, let's see. Let's see if it glows. There is no glow on this. Um, you can see there are some like heavy uh, seams on this and it is kind of like a forest green. It 
is really pretty. I'm glad we tested to see if it glows. Uh, but like I said, there's no markings on it that I can see. And uh, we're going to start this at the pre-bid of $8.30. seconds, And it's running. Do I still metal detect? Oh, my gosh. In my spare time, which is never. <laughs> <laughs> Someday maybe I'll have spare time again. That would be nice. That would be nice to have some spare time back. <laughs> I know, spare time, what's that? <laughs> it does look nice in the sunlight, doesn't it? Old daisy and button cat shoe. I did not feel the earthquake this morning. I did not. I didn't even know we had an earthquake until I got on Facebook and saw everybody posting about it. And I was like, wait, what? There was an earthquake? You felt it on Long Island. Well, it wasn't, I feel like it wasn't that far from you. Didn't it happen in like New Jersey? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, a lot of the posts I was I was seeing were from my friends in New Jersey. <laughs> Hard Christmas kitty. All right, Teresa is our winner for sixteen dollars. Congratulations, Teresa! Thank you for your purchase. We'll stick that down here. <laughs> we ride earthquakes here. <laughs> Oh, all right, let's see. Um, what else do we have in the Oh, let's do this over here. This is really neat. Let me move this to stage. Um, so I found this at Goodwill a while back. Oops, gotta be careful. Um, I just really love the color of it. And it is marked on the bottom. It's Z-E-C-C-H-I-N. And it says Murano made in Italy. It's a style Murano made in Italy. So what that leads me to believe is like made in the style of Murano. I don't think it's actually made in Murano. Um, I do think it's made in Italy because it says made in Italy. Um, but it's just style Murano. Like it's made in the style of Murano. You always have to be so careful when you find these Murano pieces that you read the label thoroughly because they'll put in really small print in the style of and then in really big letters Murano. And a lot of people just read Murano and assume, oh, it's Murano. But you got to read the small print. <laughs> but regardless, it is really pretty. I love the colors. The colors are flash. Um, so the glass itself is not that color. It's just like an added, um, an added color. So I would not suggest putting this through the dishwasher or um, scrubbing <laughs> too hard on this. Uh, but it is a really pretty dish. And uh, we're going to start this at the pre-bid of $23, and it's going to run for 30 seconds. And there it goes. It is running. <laughs> I think everybody's been fooled with the fine print. I know I early on I was fooled with the fine print uh, many a times. I think Iced It Murano is one that got me. Uh, and then I was actually called out by one of the Murano groups about how I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm like, well, it would have been a lot nicer if you could have just told me, like, hey, this is made in Venezuela. Um, that would have been just so much nicer. But, no, they, like, called me out and said I didn't know what I was talking about. But, no, I said it's made in Venezuela. Um, <laughs> it was it made by uh, one of the artists of Murano. Um, but, yeah, so... So it's just really important to read that. But I said it's so gorgeous. I love I said. And I think a lot of the materials used to make it, aside from the sand, are from Murano. So, do we have support on it at all? Is, is Sienna here? Uh, my screen is, uh, it's, it's blinking black. <laughs> it's like, it's weird. <laughs> okay, as long as it's not in your end, I just hope it doesn't like go all black. Okay. Yeah, it's flashing black. Like only for like a second. Like it's it's like just kind of flashing black. Yeah. 
All right. You guys just let me know if you have an issue. You can see me on awesome. <laughs> awesome. I am on your phone, uh, but I am on knickknacks. I can see you're on YouTube. So come on over to knickknacks to join us. Um, there is a link in the description of my YouTube video that will bring you over to Knickknacks. <laughs> you know, that's why I like the Murano and Poli group because I feel like they're very kind um, in guiding people as long as you follow their rules. It's one of the, one of the few Murano groups out there that I will I will absolutely recommend. Everybody felt the earthquake with me. All right, Peak Harold 1015 is our winner for $99. Congratulations. You know, there are other pieces from this series online that I was able to find, like goblets and other pieces to complete the set. Um, so if you if you really love it, make sure you look online um, and you can add to this set and build off of it uh, because it is really, it is so pretty. Um, so congratulations. Thank you for your purchase. P. Carol 1015. Love it. I'm going to set that down here for you. Let me grab another item here. Um, I got to figure out what I have on my cart and what I don't, because like I said, I left some items and I hit the wrong button. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> I still, like, closed out. <laughs> Um, so the group that I would recommend is the Murano and Poli group. Um, it's a really long name, but it, it's Murano and Poli um, something something. Um, that's that's what I feel like is the best group. You just have to read their rules. Make sure you follow their rules. Uh, they're very strict about how you post your photos there, which I appreciate because um, they like like clean backgrounds and stuff like that. So um, just follow their rules and they are very helpful. There are a lot of experts in that group too. Kind experts, not know-it-all experts. <laughs> so um, we're going to run this uh, set of ceramic um, chicks. I don't know who makes these. I probably should have Google image searched them. There's two of them. When I first picked them up, I thought they were candle holders. And then I was looking at them. I'm like, wait, those are, those are egg cups. Um, there's no markings. My assumption is these are made in China. I thought they would be perfect for Easter, but we didn't get them processed in time for Easter. Someone did mention today that Orthodox Easter is coming up. So I guess that works out great. Um, yes, Murano glass slash Italian art glass and Poli for GLGD. That is the Facebook group. Thank you. <laughs> like I said, I'm like, it's the, um, it's the Murano and Poli one. <laughs> um, so you can see there is a chip right here on the edge. I'm a little uh, paint chip. I'm, you know, I'm screen recording to try to catch it for you guys. It's not happening. As soon as I said that. Well, I wasn't, um, oh, the screen recording is messing up the live. I see. Okay. I'll stop screen recording. I was trying to get it, get it for you guys so I can show you what's happening on my end. Um, I stopped. I stopped screen recording. <laughs> you saw the black flash? Okay. Well, when I started screen recording, I guess everybody started seeing the black flash. That's, that's what I'm seeing. <laughs> um, all right. So I'm going to start these egg cups. And uh, like I said, there was a little chip on the one. I didn't see any other chips. It's very soft ceramic, though. Um, we're going to start. The, oh, they are Fitz and Floyd. There you go. Um, we're going to start them at 12. And there it goes. Uh-oh. Did we have an issue? I missed it. <laughs> You can put a succulent or like a little a little air plant. I've never tried air plants before. I've never tried air plants, but I feel like these, you could like totally do little air plants in there. <laughs> Skittles. <laughs> See, I don't like Skittles. Is that weird? I know. I don't like, like most candies though. Oh, 
I'm not really seeing it flash. I don't think mom saw these, honestly, but she's kind of like trying to downsize all of her stuff. So it's probably for the best. It just flashed again. I mean, it's not really like interrupting or doing anything bad. It's just, um, it's just annoying. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> there it goes. It just flashed again. I don't really like M&Ms either. You know what I did have today though? I got some um, dark chocolate. I did eat some dark chocolate today. It was pretty good. Poached egg holders. There you have it. You know, I am streaming to three separate Facebooks right now. I've never done that before. That could be the issue. I've never done three at one time. And YouTube. Which reminds me, if you're watching over on Facebook um, or YouTube, come and join us on Knickknacks. That's N-I-K-N-A-X dot net. And if you're watching on, um, on the Crazy Lamp Lady Facebook, uh, you can send my page a message and in response, you will get a link to come over and join us on Knickknacks. So send send a, um, a message and you'll get an auto response. It'll send you a link to Knickknacks. So it looks like our winner is Etz Joy for $41. Congratulations on the little chicks. They are adorable. I'm going to set those down here for you. And we are going to grab another item. Let's see what else do we have on this cart oh how about this little uh this little cranberry vase here we go so here we have a little vase um it has a ruffle or a crimped edge i believe this one is fenton i don't see any markings on it it's cranberry a nice little melon vase it's really cute um i've seen these a lot in pairs uh, we are going to run this um, it has a pre-bid of $12, and it's going to run for 30 seconds. There we go. It is running. Nice little cranberry piece. Yeah, it's so funny. A rooster is so heavy, and it's so big. And I already was getting requests to ship it, and I was like, I don't think I can do that. <laughs> I have never had Elmer's gold brick eggs. I'm just, I'm really not into candy. I don't eat candy. I don't eat cake. There, I just flashed again. Okay, um, Marion, are you watching on Knickknacks or are you watching on uh, Crazy Lamp Lady page? If you're watching on the Crazy Lamp Lady page, just send the page a message and uh, you can hop on over. Or you can type knickknacks into your web browser. And that's N I K N A X dot net. And that'll bring you right over to us. <laughs> All right, Bandit Johnson 24 is our winner. Congratulations, Bandit. We have $25 on the little vase. I will set that down here. And let's grab another item from our little store here. Um, what else do I have on the tray? How about this white vase? White art glass vase. Move to stage. Okay. So next we have this white art glass vase. It's like an opalescent. You can see it's slightly see-through. Um, it is art glass. It's cased. So it's white on the inside, clear on the outside. Um, there's not really a whole lot to say about it. I do like the shape. It's kind of like an MCM shape. Um, and it's great now that all the flowers are blooming for spring. <laughs> we caught all that rain and now all the flowers are popping up. So we're going to sell the vase. Um, we're going to start it at 18 and it's going to run for 30 seconds. And there it goes. It's running. Mm. 
Yes, it is a great vase to give the flowers attention. Some vases are very busy and they, they detract from the flowers, but this one, all eyes are on the flowers for sure. 10 inches of snow in Canada. Oh my goodness. That is crazy. All right. Lillian Tucker is our winner for $21 on the white art glass vase. Congratulations. I see there's a little sticker residue on there. I didn't notice. I might try to get that off for you. I'm going to stick that down here for you. Thank you very much for your purchase. Let me grab another item off the cart. Ooh, this is one of my favorites that I got at the Good Bowls in Florida. <laughs> And I was like, I was kind of like reluctant to part with it, but also you guys know I have so much stuff and knickknacks is not helping because I get on there and I'm watching the live sales, like just to show support and stuff. But then eventually like somebody has the most amazing thing ever. And I'm like, I need to buy this. So it's really like not healthy for me because I'm <laughs> buying too much stuff for myself. Um, but anyway, I'm going to sell this really cool studio pottery plate you can see it has i think that's a goldfinch right is that a goldfinch or, or an oriole is it an oriole i don't know um it is marked on the back it's very obscure if you know you know probably one of those deals um i do remember there being a chip on the edge right here so there's some light chipping on the edges um kind of like just glazed chips no ceramic chips there's a big one there um, it makes me think that maybe they had it in a, a plate um, holder to hang on the wall. Um, that's cause that causes that sometimes. That's why I don't like those things. Um, I'm gonna start this at twelve dollars. It has a pre bid, um, and it's gonna run for thirty seconds. Then it's running. Oh my gosh, I know. And once okay, so I added the cats and dogs category to the homepage. And I caught myself browsing through the cat and dog <laughs> mistakes. And I'm like, why am I doing this to myself? I really shouldn't be doing this because there's so many cool cats. <laughs> like, I think I did buy an Italian um, cat bank. No, I know I did. I mean, I'm not, I don't think I did. I know I bought one. <laughs> I definitely did buy one. I did. I did. I bought it. I'm just like, I don't know if it's showed up yet because we have all our mail go to the P.O. box and Andrew only texts it like once a week. So I'm like, is it here yet? Did I come? I don't know. <laughs> oh, it was so good. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, it ended. All right, Tara Cardinale is our winner for $12. Congratulations. I feel like that's a score. That is a gorgeous piece. I'm going to stick that down here. Keep it safe. There we go. Awesome. Well, thanks for watching, Pat. You should come on over here and join us on Knickknacks. That's N I K N A X dot net <laughs> for Cake Lovers Unite. I don't think I've ever even had fruit cake, honestly. We should do this weird thing that makes me uncomfortable, just so I don't have to keep looking at it. This thing makes me like wildly uncomfortable for obvious reasons. It's just kind of a weird shape. <laughs> Andrew picked it out. Um, I guess this is a tear catcher. That's what they call this. It catches your tears. I have I didn't do a whole lot of research on it. I was afraid to Google image search it. I didn't know what I'd get as a result. You can see there on the bottom, there is a really rough pontal. <laughs> um, and it's kind of like a root beer color. It's, it's a brown root beer color. <laughs> you guys are so bad. <laughs> We're going to start it. We're going to start it at $22 and 30 seconds. Here it goes. <laughs> Even Sage was like, what is that? I'm like, I don't really want to talk about it. <laughs> oh, 
yeah. It's for camping. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I thought we were family friendly. <laughs> you guys are so good. That's too funny. You know, that's that's what I was thinking. I was thinking a Shiwi because Andrew got me one. Or no, my friend Brian got me one of those ones because I was always complaining we were out metal detecting all day. I was like, well, I need to find a bathroom because I have to pee. And we've been out in this field all day. And uh, so he got me one as a joke. And I was like, I'm never going to use this. But this is kind of the, the, the idea behind it, I feel like. Somebody saw one of these and they're like, I have an idea. <laughs> oh yeah mm -hmm. it's definitely interesting <laughs> yeah he did he found it it's a thing though they're actually that's what they're called they're like tear catcher vases or bottles i don't know the whole story behind them and why they're called that and why they're shaped like that but that is what they are and they're i've seen much more decorative versions of them and the decorative ones aren't as you know the, your imagination doesn't go as crazy with the decorative ones that are hand painted and really like decorative this one's just you know it's a little different <laughs> googling now not the image yeah don't google image search this one uh, we got this at the factory we got this one at the factory in ohio don't do it sunny <laughs> oh that's too funny <laughs> dr seuss vibes <laughs> you guys have the best comments i'm just sitting here laughing um so every time somebody new bids it resets the clock to 15 seconds it's a soft close um it looks like mama g4 is our winner congratulations and thank you so much i will have to let andrew know that his treasure is going to you <laughs> Awesome. Thank you so much. I'm going to set this down here. And we can change the subject now. We don't have to talk about it anymore. <laughs> yes, enjoy your vase. Enjoy. You can think of you can think of me and Andrew every time you look at it. <laughs> All right, let's grab another item. You know, this is absolutely gorgeous. We're going to move this one to the stage. I love this. Um, this reminds me of, um, that artist that Kate is obsessed with. Does anybody remember the artist's name? Is Kate here? Is Kate watching? I don't know if she has a sale right now. Um, but she's obsessed with that artist. Um, I can't remember the name. That's not who this is though. Um, they have a note in here. Saeed Golbar is possibly, oh, she's live right now. Okay. Um, this is, this is Iranian. Yeah, that's what they say. Sold for 175 euro. So, but it reminds me of that glass that she's been picking up. She's been picking up those really wild Jack in the Pulpit vases that she's obsessed with. Um, I can't remember the name of the artist, but like she absolutely is obsessed with them. She found one at, um, Mad Hatter in Adamstown and then she found another one, um, so that's kind of what this reminds me of. It's that real heavy threading and that contrast in color. It's really cool. Uh, I'm not familiar with this artist, but I kept the post-it note with it. And I will put the post-it note in the vase for whoever purchases it if you want to research the vase further. And um, because it's not an artist I'm familiar with. It does have a pontal mark on the bottom. I love that um, that variance in color and the way it pops against the red is just really cool so uh, we are going to start this one at a pre-bid of forty dollars that is the pre-bid um, and it's gonna run for 30 seconds okay and it is square shaped it's like a rounded square okay so let's start it and there it goes it's running
Yeah, it is really cool. I just wish I could remember that artist. They do some really funky stuff with really like bright colors. I think the piece she had was like lime green and like per like dark purple. It was just like so wild. <laughs> Yes, we got keys to the new space. Actually, the contractor is there right now. Um, and Dad was going to do the work, but he's just feeling really overwhelmed right now. Um, so Sage's dad is also a contractor. Um, he owns his own company, and so he is going to do the work for us. And we just had him out there yesterday, and today he was like, hey, can I have some of my guys go over there? And I was like, you mean like today you were just there? He's like, yeah. I'm like, oh. <laughs> like, I'm, not, I'm not used to anybody moving that quickly. I was like, okay, let's do it. <laughs> it was amazing. So, uh, so he's over there, um, or his guys are over there right now, looking at the space. And um, I guess we're gonna start work next week. I'm so thrilled. I thought it was gonna be like, like at least a month until we could, like, you know, be anywhere near moving in. So, I mean, I now I really got to clear it. I thought I had like way more time, and now I'm like. Oh, crap. <laughs> in a good way. In a good way. Yes. Yes, absolutely. All right. So we have a winner. Aggie is our winner for $77. Congratulations. Like I said, I will keep the note in there for you um, so you can have that note. Um, I'm going to stick this down here on the bottom of the cart for you. And there we go. All right. <laughs> Let's grab another. Um, oh, this. I had some requests for this. This is really neat. Uh, so this is a planter. Uh, this was also a good will find. Uh, it's two pieces because you have the floral frog on the inside. It has a camel on the outside. It is marked Peru on the bottom. I'm pretty sure that's Peru. Um, there's somebody dancing on this side got the camel and then you also have like a pot or something on the floral frog and it sets right down in there and you can arrange your florals however you'd like but I like that it's decorative it's decorative um so there is some paint chipping like on the floral frog you can see a little chip right there um but other than that I think we're good to go. So I'm going to start it. Uh, we have a pre-bid of $12 and it's going to run for 30 seconds. Oh, you think it's a llama? That would make the most sense since it's brew. You're right. It is a llama. <laughs> Definitely a llama. Not a camel. Thank you for the clarification. You can't see it? Can you see it now? Oh my gosh, the Emperor's new, new Groove. That's a movie that I have to I have to have Laura watch. Her new obsession right now, she like she gets obsessed with movies. Her new obsession right now is um, Monsters Inc. Here, let me lift it up for you. Can you see it now? <laughs> Yes, she loves, and it's so funny because she's so like the little girl in that movie is so similar to Laurel. Your camera? What's wrong with my camera? It's definitely a llama. You're right. It's definitely a llama. I'm gonna set it back down. It's heavy. I don't want to drop it. Yes, Boo. Boo and Kitty. And it's funny because Laurel doesn't say kitty. She says kitty cat. Kitty cat. It's always two words. It's never one. Oh, my gosh. I love that part of the movie, too. Trust me. I've watched it, like, seven million times in the past, like, week. <laughs> All right, Dorothy12 is our winner. Congratulations, and thank you, Dorothy, for your purchase. I'm going to set your llama planter right down here very carefully, and we're going to grab another one. Uh, we have a few more items on the cart. Let's run this. This is kind of neat because it may look familiar to you guys. I actually have two other owls just like this i have one in the back as a mascot that is wearing a hat and i have one at home that is sitting on my shelves so i have two and i'm like 
why would I need three of them? I feel like I can sell one. Um, so we're going to sell this. It is carved from wood. Um, it is a solid piece of wood. And uh, he is a really neat owl. I mean, what else can you say about that? I'm going to pin it. Move to stage. So he has a pre-bid of $28. And uh, I don't see any damage to him. He may have a little chip right there under his eyeball. Uh, yeah, we're going to sell this guy. And he's going to go to a new home because I'm going to keep his two friends. <laughs> Kind of the odd owl out. You get sent to a new home. And if you get him, you can give him a hat. He is cute. I love these owls. The first one I, I have, I got from Thunderbird Salvage in Philadelphia. And I bought it for resale and then I just couldn't let it go. <laughs> I could have taken I mean I could have. I could have taken him to the new place. And then I found another one at um Pine Hills in Adamstown. No, it will not go directly to 50. It at one point it was doing that, um, but it is now fixed to where if you do a um a max bid. Um, it will auto bid for you to that amount. It will not automatically jump. All right. I think we have a winner. It's Finders Fixer Studio. Thank you so much. Congratulations on your new mascot. <laughs> He's pretty great. We will put him on here I think we've got three more and then we'll head to the back and run what we've got back there and then we've just got time to run whatever look at these tables we've got to move next week we got to get rid of this stuff um right, let me get another. okay so the pre-bid now the way it works let me turn you guys around the way it works now is that if you enter a max bid um, if you enter a max bid and you're like, you know, my highest I want to go on this item is $100. And say it's at like $28 um, and somebody else bids $30, it'll bid like the next increment for you. It won't bid all the way to $100. Does that make sense? So it's not going to jump anymore. Before it would jump. Before you'd put in a high bid of $100 and it would automatically jump to $100. But it's since been um, adjusted so that now it automatically just bids incrementally up into your high bid. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. So if you're entering max bids, that is how it is going to work. I know. I was so excited with that update. Um, all right, let's run another. How about this pinwheel decoder? Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. I forgot how heavy. I went to lift it, now I'm thinking it's gonna be that heavy. Okay, so this is a pinwheel pattern decanter. I think it might be check. Not positive. Oh, there's water inside. I'm dripping water everywhere. Oh, Sage cleaned it for us. <laughs> Woo. So there is some water inside. I'm going to leave the top off so that um, it does air out. Um, it uh, obviously has the stopper and it's very heavy. It has these pinwheel designs. That's why we call it a pinwheel style decanter because it has the pinwheels. Like I said, I, my guess is that it's check. Not positive on that. Um, it's very heavy. We're going to start this at 12. That is the pre-bid and it's going to run for 30 seconds. And there it goes. It's running. Um, this is pressed. It's not good. Uh, I think these are etched, these details, because they are a little sharp. But the rest of it, it's um, it's pressed because it's it's more rounded. You are welcome. 
Hey, if you're over on Facebook or YouTube, come and join us on knickknacks.net to participate in the sale. Do I check messages? That depends. Is it crazy lamp lady? <laughs> I get a ton of messages on crazy lamp lady. So I do have it set to auto respond. Um, all right. We have a winner. KK Hulk is our winner for $24. Congratulations on the decanter. I'm going to put the, uh, you know, um, let's see if we can stand it up down on the bottom. Maybe. There we go. And I'm actually going to set that right there. I tuck it in. Okay, cool. All right. So two more items on the cart. I got that posted all wet, but it's all right. Yeah, that is a gorgeous decanter. And like I said, it's very heavy. <laughs> Join us on. Yeah, we need a jingle. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, all right. Let's grab another. Let's do the fish plate. We're going to save this gorgeous vase for last. I mean, it's not last. I have more in the back, but we're going to save this one. We're going to do this. Fish plate. All right. Move to stage. Okay. So um, this is obviously a fish dish. It does have the hangers on it, but they have those little rubber protectors. Um, so it's somewhat um, acceptable. Um, it's Adriana is the marking on the back. You could hang it on your wall. Uh, we are going to start this at $12 and it's running. Is there a shipping fee on here? Yes, there shipping is calculated. Um, so if you click on the item, there should be an icon with an I. Um, and if you click on the icon, it will give you your calculated shipping. So, um, Jen, today our um our resident mary who, help, who helps with all things actually posted a tutorial um to help guide people on knickknacks so i have it posted on crazy lamp lady facebook on knickknacks facebook and also on the youtube channel Yes, she did an amazing job. Oh, it's ended. It looks like Daydreamers105 is our winner for $13 on the fish dish. Congratulations on that. Let's stuff that down in there. All right, and our last item on the cart before we move to the back is this beauty. Um, so I don't see a marking on the bottom of this, which is kind of crazy. There is remnants of a sticker, but I can't quite make it out. It's kind of frustrating. Let me see. Ooh. Yeah, there's definitely remnants of a sticker on there, but it's pretty beat up. Uh, what it reminds me of is some of the Murano pieces that I've bought at Heart of Ohio, but I don't think that's what it is. It's kind of crazy. Um, anyway, so we have some cane that is like coming through the sides. It's a little bit sharp here, but you can see there's one there. And then there's another one on the other side. It's iridescent. It does have a polished top. And uh, yeah, there's the bottom. You can just see the remnants of that sticker. So we are going to run this. Ooh, you like that? <laughs> you like that, Sandy? We're going to start this um, at $13. That's the rebid. Um, and oops, no, sorry. I'm on the wrong item. Give me one second. Oh, we're at $42 on this one. Move the stage. Here we go. All right. The prebid on this is $42, and we are going to run it for 30 seconds. And there it goes. It's running. Oh, thank you. Yes, it is still U.S. and Canada. Still U.S. and Canada. I do know they're working on it, though. I do know they're working on it. All right. Autumn Lee 1975 is our winner on this gorgeous vase for $44. Thank you for your purchase. Congratulations. Let me find a spot for this down here. Uh, set this down here. Um, and we're actually going to head into the back. I'm going to finish running my uh, my preloaded items. 
And uh, then we're going to start grabbing stuff off the tables. Because we've got lots of stuff to pull from. First, I'm going to grab a water, though. Grab myself water. Great. You missed me over there. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Into the back. Here we go. All right, so I have a few of more items preloaded. I'm actually going to hook you guys into this tripod. Come on, you stupid thing. Oops. Let's see here. Just one second, I'll get you in. And hooked up. Maybe. There we go. Okay, cool. All right. Oh, there we go. That's better. Okay. All right. I think we're ready. Look, now you can read my shirt, knickknacks.net. This is where you need to go. <laughs> No, I did not feel the earthquake today. I didn't feel it one bit. I don't know why. I was just kind of oblivious to it, I guess. A little bit higher, there we go. All right, so let's run some items. Yes, you can buy the shirts. Um, they're on Bonfire. So you just, uh, you can Google um, knickknacks Bonfire and then you can get all the merch. If you just Google Knickknacks bonfire. All right, let's grab another item. So now we're gonna run the items that I have preloaded from back here. We'll start with this bone vase. Um, so this is Aceta Sweden. Um, it is a bone vase. I've sold several of these over the past few uh, months actually uh, you can see all of the little bubbles in there the controlled bubbles um and the reason they call it a bone vase is because of the shape of it it's shaped kind of like a bone i learned that from my viewers so thank you very much um we have a ruler back here uh it is about eight inches tall and it is a smoky glass it is a smoky glass so we're going to start this at twenty dollars and thirty seconds and there it goes. Oh, you made it onto knickknacks. Wonderful. <laughs> Welcome. Where did I put my chapstick? It's here somewhere. I'm gonna find it. <laughs> you wish I would sell everything this way? Oh my goodness. I wish I had enough time to sell everything this way. As it is, I'm like, mom, dad, can you hang out with the kids? For a little while, I gotta go have a sale on knickknacks. I also gotta find my chapstick. I'm gonna walk around with. Oh, here it is. We're good. Knickknacks is the place to be. That's right. Yes, Mr. Nifis is moving with his friends. Absolutely, they're all coming along. <laughs> we can't move without our mascots. It's kind of important. <laughs> Oh, we have a winner. Jack Smith 89 is our winner for $24. Congratulations on the vase. Yes, I'm going to grab a sip of water. I'm going to grab a sip of water. Let me set this over here into the box. These items are going to go into the box. Um, let's melt the open. Oh, that's a raccoon. That's that's our knickknacks mascot. Have you guys seen the raccoon? How good is he? <laughs> He's singing about his cookie. <laughs> All right, I grab this for water. He's a really nice raccoon. He's super cute. <laughs> Let me get the lighting right. I know the O face. His first name is Nick, and his last name is Nax. 
So it's knickknacks. Just drop my lid. And the cats, yeah. Two cats and a dog and a fighting fox. He's ready for a battle. He fights off all the trolls. <laughs> Will I ever do metal detecting videos again? Perhaps. I'm not opposed to it. I just need to find the time. I need to find the time. My hair, oh, that was my scale. My hair is getting long. It is getting long. Yes. Okay. Let's run another item. Any atomic cats? I have an MCM cat I can run. Move to stage. Here we go. This little guy. How cute is that? <laughs> Um, so before we run this, I do want to draw your attention here to the neck that has been repaired. This is, um, Sir Nifis's little, um, niece cat. <laughs> that is the family relation. Um, it does have little rhinestones and this one is just randomly down here while the others are up higher. I don't know if those were added after the fact or somebody was just like, Hey, let's you have a rhinestone collar to this cat. They also have rhinestones on their eyeballs. Um, I, I'm assuming Andrew is. That's more his thing th these days. I don't get out much. <laughs> um, let me get you a measurement on this. It is a six and a half inches tall. Um... <laughs> It's very sweet, isn't it? Um, and like I said, just the neck is the only damage I can see. We're going to start this at $8, 30 seconds, and there it goes. It's running. <laughs> I know, I we, every so often I drive by the fields we used to metal detect in, and I was like, man, I'd love to get back up there. I wish I could tell you who makes this. My assumption is it's made in Japan. Since November. I don't know if Kate will do lives. I'm not sure. Um, Thrifting Stitcher is our winner for $27. Thank you very much. Congratulations on your cat. I'm going to stick it back here. And we're going to grab another item. Yay. Let's do this. Everybody was so excited about this. And I don't know if I was more excited or you guys were more excited. But this was so good. Just like so randomly good. Like you wouldn't expect it. Like and this is not, this was not on my bingo card that day. But it is a... Bobblehead tiger in a cloche. And it looks to me like he has real fur. He also has like, <laughs> it's like ferns in the back. It's like glued together. Like it's, it's stuck on there. It's not going anywhere. But it's like bobbles. He's a weirdo. He's the best kind of weirdo. This is 180 on the bottom. That was probably the original price. No, I'm just joking. I have no idea why it says 180. I don't imagine that somebody was charging $180 for this. It was probably for another reason. Um, um, isn't he good? He's so good. Um, so we are going to start this. The pre-bid is at $28. Um, and we're going to run it for 30 seconds. I'm actually going to turn off. He's running now. I'm going to turn this. Oh, wrong way. Okay. There. So now that it's not, no ring light. So you can kind of see a little bit better. There he is. This is wobble head. <laughs> He's really cute. Boom. All right, perfect. Now it's too dim. Ooh. Oh, now it's too bright. I don't like that ring light. That's why I normally don't use it. All right. Let's see. 
you guys for a second while this runs. I know that's because he's so cute. Who doesn't want a tiger in a cloche? <laughs> Bandit Johnson is our winner for $54. Congratulations, Bandit, on the Wobblehead Tiger. His little tongue is curled up too. I don't know if you can see his little tongue in there. <laughs> I just noticed that. It's really good. It's just, it's so good. <laughs> Thank you, Bandit. Let me stick that in there. Let's grab another item out. Yes, thank you, thank you. Um, let me see, what do I have? Um, oh, unicorn. Unicorn. Let's get a unicorn. YouTube stage. Okay, next I have this unicorn here, and this is an art glass unicorn. Um, I've seen the horses before. I hadn't seen you know, a unicorn, so I thought that was kind of fun. Um, I don't know who makes this one. I didn't know if it was like rainbow glass. I don't know. Pilgrim. I remember who makes these little blown glass animals um uh, but he's he's pretty good um he is four and a half inches tall um and we are going to start it at twelve dollars and 30 seconds on the clock and here it goes yes we will do more sold videos we will do more sold videos we just have to get more organized <laughs> it's a little more organized to do sold videos <laughs> Alrighty, we have a winner. Autumn Lee 1975 is our winner. Congratulations on the unicorn. You have picked up some nice treasures today. Um, Juliet didn't want, I, you know, Juliet didn't see him. The last time Juliet was in the shop, she filled out two bags of stuff. And so I was kind of like, I don't know if I want to be like offering more stuff to Juliet because she's just going to drag it home. <laughs> I kind of like was like, mm, she doesn't need any more stuff at home. <laughs> Let's do a Higgins fused glass dish. <laughs> uh, which one did I pick? I think I picked the green one. Okay, so next we have this green Higgins fused glass dish. You can see it's marked here. Higgins, let me just double check if I have the right one. Listing. Yes. Okay, I do. Um, <laughs> working at church. <laughs> um, it is. Let's see. It is three and uh, three and a half square, and it has these little squares. It is marked Higgins. Um, Higgins is a lot of really amazing uh, mid-century fused glass pieces. I actually have. I think I have one in my collection. Just one, which is kind of crazy. Uh, it was a gift, though. It was a gift. Um, so we are going to run this. Uh, it's going to start at 18, and it's going to run for 30 seconds. And there it goes. It's running. I feel like if I'm not standing, I should probably... Oh, um, so Ashton won by $20 in the first competition, and the second competition I'm going to be scheduling. How do we sell our stuff on here? So if you come over to knickknacks.net, that's N-I-K-N-A-X.net, um, you become a member, and then after you've become a member, you can apply to sell. Uh, you fill out an application. Make sure if you're selling on any other platform that you include the links to that platform because that gets you approved sooner rather than later. Um, if you're not selling anywhere else, that's okay too. Um, just let me know that and eventually you'll get a denial and I'll just ask you to send me photos. Um, so that's really the gist of it. All right, Bandit Johnson 24 is the winner. Congratulations, Bandit. 
Yay on the Higgins. I will set that right over there for you. And let's run the other Higgins while we're at it. Why not? We have two. We have two pieces of Higgins. And this is the other one. A little bit different. <laughs> Yippee. Let's do this. Here is the second Higgins. All right. How much does selling there cost? So there is no cost to selling. Um, the fees are 10% plus processing. Um, so it would be 10% and then processing fees are usually 2 to 3%. So it works out to 12 to 13%. Um, and it's only when you sell things. It's only when you sell things. So you can list as much as you want, but only when you make a sale do you pay a fee. Um, okay, so here's another Higgins dish. You can see it is marked Higgins down here on the bottom. I think this one is a little bit larger, just by a little bit. They're almost like nesting, actually. Eh, not really. Um, this one is just a little bit larger, and actually it's a little bit deeper, too. There's a little bit more of a, a dish shape to it. Um, you can see all the colors on the inside, a little bit more colorful. Um, we're going to start this. This one has a pre-bid of $40 and 30 seconds. So here we go. It is running. Oh my gosh. I know I'm obsessed with Higgins too. I love it. Every time I see it, I like, I want to buy it and resell it. But half the time it's like, oh, I can't do that. <laughs> These ones kind of flew under the radar, so I was able to get them and uh, get them for resale. Hello, Charlie. You filled it out. Wonderful. Thank you. A bidding war over the Higgins. Bronze marlin fish. Ooh, see, that's not my uh, that's not my thing, but I would suggest taking it to a reputable auction house. I know that Jacob does a lot with um with bronzes. He's in Ohio though. I'm not sure where you are. Hello, Tennessee. It is very pretty colors, yes. I'm not running down at bottom of the street. Yes, so these sales are soft close, which means every time somebody posts a new bid, it will reset the clock to 15 seconds. So, all right, we have a winner. Bandit Johnson 24 on the Higgins Fused Art Glass. Congratulations, Bandit. Thank you so much, 88 on the Higgins. Yay! <laughs> Let me grab another item. What else do we have here? Ooh, this is a fun one. Move to stage. Let me make sure I have my black light. Hopefully it works for you guys. Let's see. I mean, it can't not work for you. I feel like I got this in, uh, in West Virginia but I don't recall exactly. I just know that I bought a bunch of glowy glass. So I'm thinking that's where I got it. Um, this is a very dim black light. It's barely working, but you can still see how crazy that glows. It's kind of nuts. Um, and it is like a canary yellow. It's a toothpick holder. It is a toothpick holder, but um, there you can kind of see the glow there. Um, so we are going to run this. If you really want to see it glow, you can click on the title and you can go to a view listing and you can see it in the dark under blacklight. Uh, we started at 4.30. We started at 4.30. Um, 4.30 Eastern. So yeah, so uh, I don't know the pattern. There's like, um, actually there's not even really quite little flea bites. I don't feel anything. So I don't know the maker of this. We are going to start it at uh, 25, which is the pre-bid, and it's going to run for 30 seconds. There it goes. It's run. And there is the green. Like I said, this is like the worst black light that I have. And of course, it's the only one I have back here. <laughs> 
Yes, nicknacks.net. Come and join us, Lori. That is N I K N A X dot net. Um, yes, you can. Oh, oh, that would be really cool if we could customize shirts for vendors. I feel like we should have the ability to put merch on district, but <laughs> maybe that's uh, down the pipeline. Um, all right, so Jewel Side is our winner for $34. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Timu, this isn't from Timu. <laughs> Can you guys uh, so do any live auction? Uh, yeah, oh, absolutely. Absolutely, you can. For sure. I'm going to set that over here. <laughs> Heck, if they have those on Timu, I'm going to be back on Timu doing some more shopping. Mm. Yeah, you know, I was actually looking on there for black lights. So, I was like, do I really want to shop on Timu for black lights? <laughs> Maybe I do. <laughs> hey, I'll be vintage. <laughs> I did not feel the earthquake today. I did not. Hello. Um, I'm not sure if I, I don't know. That's a good question. Goodwill or antique malls. It just depends. I mean, if I'm having like a really good luck at a Goodwill, I'm all about it. But if it's like really slow and I'm not really finding much, I'm over it. <laughs> I need to be like actively finding stuff to be excited about. Um, let's sell some Murano. I actually have to stand up to get this one. So um, let me get off my butt and go get my Murano paperweights. So this is a really gorgeous paperweight. Um, this is an aquarium paperweight. It is Murano. And it is fantastic. Um, you can see here the back view is like kind of concealed by seaweed. Uh, the one thing I do want to note is it appears as though a bubble got caught on the edge. And from this angle, it does kind of look like a crack, but it doesn't catch the fingertip. Like you can't catch it. So I don't know. I think it just looks that way because of the bubble. Because there is the side view. And it does look like a bubble. So here's the front. We are going to run. Oh, sorry. Here's the front. <laughs> We are going to run this Murano paperweight. Um, it has a pre-bid of $65. Ooh, does anything glow? Oh, you asked me that when I got the worst black light. Come on, you can do it. I don't see any glowy in here. I don't see any glowy. I don't think that it glows. Um, so we are gonna start it at uh, $65, the pre-bid, and 30 seconds. And it's off and running. Murano paperweight with fishies inside. Well, one one singular fish on the inside. It is cool. It is cool. I have a I have a um, aquarium piece in my office actually. It's very large. <laughs> I bought it thinking it was smaller, and then I got it from auction, and I'm like, I'm not shipping this. And that's how I started collecting Murano. <laughs> My Murano collection started by buying a piece that was too big to ship. <laughs> yeah, the aquarium pieces are really interesting. I think I showed you guys my aquarium vase before. It's in the windowsill. It's a pink, it's got a pink tint to it. It's a big chunk of glass. <laughs> Any puffer fish? <laughs> I do. I have one puffer fish. I think it's um. Oh my gosh, is Peter here? I don't know if Peter's here. Peter knows who that is. Um, Giliano Faro, I think, is who makes that. <laughs> That's my line. <laughs> If we have time going back out to the floor, I'll, I'll, we'll take a detour through my office. I'll show you my uh, my Murano vase.
Um, I'm not moving my office. I'm going to keep my office here. I'm going to keep my office because I don't really have anywhere to put it over there. It's going to be an all open floor plan. And so there's really no office space. <laughs> Gen C QVC, I love it. I wish I could get like, I'm trying to like hold it against the solid color of my shirt so you can get a better look at it. <laughs> Looks like Cindy Luck is our winner for $160. Congratulations. And thank you very much for your purchase. Thank you so much. Let me set this in here for you. Right, I'm stepping on towards. <laughs> yes, thank you, Cindy. And thank you, Bandit, too. Thank you very much. Um, let's see here. Let's do... Um, you guys like that Murano. So let me run another piece of Murano. We have the Salviati um, Swan. Um, I believe this is a salt cellar. Um, it is Salviati. It's a clear glass with the gold flake. You can see the gold flake on the bottom. And there is a pontal scar. Um, it's a smaller salt cellar. I had, I had a bigger one um, the last sale, I think, the last time I sold one. Um, but this is a smaller one. And uh, like I said, it's clear with the gold. It's got the little yellow eyeballs that are kind of like the giveaway. And we are going to start this one at 18, which is the pre-bed, and it's going to run for 30 seconds. And he is a little Murano Swan dish. They come in different colors. I have one in black. I think I showed you. I think I showed you, right? The UV toothpick holder. I did. Yes, I did run the UV toothpick holder. Did you miss it? I think I showed you guys my other uh, my other Salviati swans that I will be selling whenever I do the um, the challenge for the kids, the family challenge. Oh, I hope you start feeling better. So there's so many people that are like not feeling the greatest. I had like that quick stomach bug and then I had allergies real bad. Um, looks like we have a winner. J S N I Janet just. J S N I S C three nine five. Thank you very much. Congratulations on your purchase, beautiful little Salviati Swan. I feel like that was a good deal. I feel like you got a good deal on that. So congratulations. Let me set that there. Um, I'm gonna grab another item out of here. Let's do Waterford. I wanted to try some Waterford here on Knickknacks. Um, I have so much Waterford, and I always felt like it was a better, like, buy it now item, but I figured, you know what? Hey, let's try it at, uh, at auction and see what happens. Um, so this here is Waterford. It is crystal. It is a cigar ashtray. Um, so you can see that the um, divots here are a little bit deeper and heavier and because it's not necessarily for cigarettes. It's for like a big honking cigar. Um, the bottom is kind of scratched up from shifting on a table. Uh, and there's some scratching. There's no major chips or cracks. Some of the bottom facets do have like flea bites on them, um, but it, it is marked Waterford. So um, we do have the marking right here. There's your Waterford marking. It fades a lot of the times, but that's it. Um, so we are going to start it at $28. And there it is going. Uh, yes, I can run the glass heart. Absolutely. <laughs> I can run that next. Yes, I'm going to run through all of my... Um, my preloaded items, and then we'll run out to the main floor and see what else we could find. Fifty-six to Canada. Oh my! You know it is kind of heavy, though. It's a pretty heavy, honking piece of crystal. Oh, 
All right, Jen54321 is our winner. Congratulations. Thank you so much for your purchase. Oh, a big heavy piece of Waterford. Um, any elephants today? I do have an elephant. And I was going to load it in, and I was like, I don't know. It's this. Oh, man. <laughs> Dom. Dom France. He has his etched signature here. Um, Dom France. He's crystal. You can actually hear. Doesn't it sound so nice? It sounds so good. So fun to tap on crystal. Um, so yes, I do have this. It's not preloaded though. Yes. Yeah, Dom is very good. Um, but this is the only elephant I had set aside. Um, I didn't get it preloaded, but it is sitting on the shelf. I think that's my only elephant. I think that's the only one I have. Um, let's see. Let's run through the rest of the preloads and then we can go from there. I told Junk Monkey I would run this slag. Let's run it. Slag glass heart dish. It is imperial. It has the original sticker on the back. And there are some, um, it's like a bow and arrow. There's a bow and arrow on the front. Um, heart shaped scrolling. Um, I don't know if it glows. Mm, the cadmium has a little bit of glow, but there's not a whole lot of cadmium in it. Um, so it's not like a crazy glower, but there's a little bit. <laughs> so uh, it is kind of a red with some orange and, and uh, white in there. Uh, we are going to run this. Pre bid is 16, and it's going to run for 30 seconds. And there it goes, running. Yes, you can You can now minimize the screen and multitask. Isn't that wonderful? That's a new feature. I feel like it kind of went under the radar. Like it was like, oh, by the way, we got, we got pre-bids, we got like max bids now, and oh, by the way, <laughs> we, have, we have picture in picture, which is wonderful. Wonderful one. Lots of good feedback on the picture in picture. <laughs> so there you have it. Imperial original sticker even. Take a sip of my water. It is pretty, and like I said, it does have the bow and arrow there. It's even embossed. <laughs> so great. Another earthquake? No way. That's so crazy. I did not feel anything. You felt it? Oh my gosh. I don't feel anything. That's so crazy. Yeah, I'm not feeling anything. Okay. <laughs> I'm like... All right, it looks like Autumn Lee 1975 is our winner for $43. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Yes, everybody be safe. That is terrifying. That is terrifying. I will never forget when I was working um, in Harrisburg at the IT company. I remember the one time we got we got an earthquake and um and like it was so like what is happening right now? Like, what do we do? Like everybody just start getting up and like running out of the building. And I'm like, what do we do? Like the whole thing was shaking. It was really scary. It was pretty scary. So everybody be careful, be safe. Oh man. Um, all right, let's see. Uh I'm gonna keep running to stage. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I feel like that too. All right, let me uh, grab this. Okay, um, so these are clear and like a mint green modeled vase. And they have this nice collar on them with gold paint, but the gold is worn on these. So you can see where the gold is worn. Um, and here is the bottoms. 
Um, there is some flea bites around the edge. So that what that means is like light chipping. There's no like big gouges out of it. Um, you can see uh, this one right here is probably the worst of it. Um, you can you can see that one. Um, most flea bites, you can just feel them with your fingers. Um, but that's what we've got. Two bases. You're getting both of them. Um, and we are going to start it at 18 and it's going to run for 30 seconds. Is it sharp? Um, probably. I don't want to cut my finger. <laughs> Will you be, I will not, I will not be in the train tomorrow because I, I don't have anyone to watch Laurel and she will just be absolutely everywhere. So I, unfortunately I will not be in the train tomorrow, but I will be popping in. I'll be in the chat. I'll be cheering everybody on. So I will be there in spirit and in chat, but unfortunately I will not be participating, which is kind of a bummer. <laughs> Bring her along, high chair. Oh man, maybe I'll make her some three bean uh, salad and just stick her in a high chair and see what happens. Um, all right, it looks like SKVH is our winner for $21 on both vases. Thank you very much and congratulations on your vases. And cute, well, the cucumbers go in the salad. Actually, I don't even know if they were like. I think, you know what, they were, yeah, they're, they go in the salad. I'm like, sometimes I add cucumbers to recipes just because I know that she loves cucumbers so much. I'm like, you know, this might taste okay with some cucumbers. And she loves them so much that I just like throw them in just about anything and everything. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, she's, she's got wild taste. She likes sushi. She likes cucumbers and beans. And she's just, she's a wild child. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, Sasha B. No, she doesn't like onions. She likes red onions. She likes red onions. She does not like um, regular onions. Yeah, she likes Takis. She likes Takis. Especially the blue ones. And you can always tell when she's been eating blue Takis because her whole face will be blue. Her hands will be blue. And I'm always like, Ashton, Juliet, were you giving your sister Takis again? And they're like, no. And I'm like, She's literally a blue child now. <laughs> you, you can't deny that. <laughs> Speaking of blue, look at this awesome cigarette box that we have, <laughs> which can also be a trinket box. Um, so this is a Sasha B. I had uh, the Sasha uh, ashtray slash trinket dish in the sale uh, earlier this week, and everybody loved it so much that I was like, let's pull out some more Sasha Brastoff. Um, so <laughs> Sasha Brastoff uh, gets called a she a lot, but Sasha Brastoff is a he. Um, this is a ceramic box with an uh, enamel on copper lid. Um, just this um, this panel is um, is enamel. Um, there's no chips or cracks on this. Uh, there are stilt marks on the bottom because it's glazed on the bottom, and um, so just those little pinhole pin things where it was in the uh the kiln um other than that uh, i didn't see any chips or cracks i just absolutely love the lid on this i think it's gorgeous now there is you can kind of see on the side here that it's like dirty and a little rusty on the edges but um other than that it's so good <laughs> it's so good <laughs> and originally it would have held cigarettes i believe but um now you, it could just be a trinket box and uh, we're gonna run it 77 is the pre-bid and it's got 30 seconds on the clock. So here it goes. Sasha B box. And like I said, this is an enamel on copper panel and the box itself is ceramic. And it is a Sasha Brastoff. It is a nice box. It's a really nice box. <laughs> I've had the wooden versions before. I've had the versions in wood that are longer, but I hadn't seen the ceramic one before. And this was this was kind of just thrown in a lot at auction and it was laying like this. And I could see that gold signature and I was like, 
and you, I couldn't really zoom in, but I'm like, I think this is such depressed stuff. <laughs> and then I got it, and obviously. Yeah, it was pretty good. Pretty good find. It is distinctive, absolutely. And the Higgins, I think, was in the same, the same lot. But I just saw the fused glass and thought, ooh, fused glass. And then I got it and I saw the Higgins on there and I was like, ooh, even better. <laughs> Sasha B and Higgins. I'll take that. I don't know what Ashton's doing, but I'm getting all these. <laughs> These meta meta quest uh, receipts that just keep popping up at the top of my screen. <laughs> like, what is he doing? What is he up to? He's buying things for his game. He knows I'm live, and I can't call him and be like, Ashton, what are you doing? <laughs> there goes another one. Okay, <laughs> he's he's gonna get the what for when this is done. <laughs> Oh, no, it's all right. It's all right. I'll deal with it afterwards. His challenge winnings. There you go. <laughs> wow, you guys really love this box. <laughs> it's me trying to turn off his phone. <laughs> oh, mom. All right, it looks like we have a winner, Devin Elise Creations and Vintage. Congratulations. Congratulations on the Sasha Brastoff. I am going to set this very carefully into the box now. Now I'm like afraid to even like touch it again after I've like set it down. It's going to sit here very, it's safe now. It's going to be safe right there. Thank you for your purchase. Thank you so much. Um, all right, so let's, uh, let's see what else we have preloaded. I think that might be it. Was that everything? Did we get through everything? Oh, we got through everything. We ran all of our preloads. Um, but we still have more time. We still have more time. Um, so I'm not sure what you guys want to do. Um, I have about 30 more minutes. Um, I can run the elephant. Yeah, so the elephant is Dom Crystal. Um, it's very super heavy. So what I'm going to have to do is plug in my um, scale just to get a weight on it because it's super heavy. You know what? Yeah, let me just, uh, I just want to get a proper weight on it because it's probably going to be like six pounds. I just want to make sure I get the right weight. It's pretty heavy. I have no problem running it. Like I said, it is Dom Crystal. Um, and after I run that, we can go out to the main floor and pick a few items if you guys would like. Uh, we can grab some items off the table. If you saw something you liked and you wanted me to run, um, we can do that. Let's see how much it weighs. Six pounds, nine ounces. It's a pretty good estimate, I'd say. It's like it weighs about six pounds. Six pounds, nine ounces to be exact. Um, all right, let me, uh, let me add this in, um, auction. Don't forget that I do have coffee, um, coffee and stickers in the buy it now. Dom France, uh, elephant, green. And it is signed Dom. I must start this one at 45. I'm going to do 30 seconds on the clock. Um, uh, and I will include Canada in uh, all of the, uh, on the fly listings as well. So um, all the preloads had Canada and we're going to include all those in, the, in our on the fly listings. Let me just see here. Move to stage. Okay, here we have it. Okay. Yes, Sasha Brastoff. 
Okay, so this, um, as I showed earlier, is Dom France. It is signed right here, Dom France. I think these come in different sizes. Um, and this is the larger version. Um, this is about eight inches tall. Um, and he weighs about six pounds, <laughs> six pounds of glass or crystal. And you can hear it. I love that sound. Um, so we are going to uh, start it at $45 and it's going to run for 30 seconds. Um, so here it goes. It is running. There's your ASMR. Everybody's like, stop with the finger tapping. Oh my gosh. If I count if I counted all the times that I got that on a video. Stop tapping. <laughs> I just can't help it. I like the sound. <laughs> Packy crinkles and finger tapping. I know. I should make like a whole ASMR thrifting video. This is bag, bag is crinkling. This is paper crinkling. This is tapping. <laughs> Reselling ASMR. <laughs> the tape gun. <laughs> Please no. <laughs> Do it. I'm getting mixed reactions here, guys. I don't, I can't. <laughs> My voice is ASMR. You know, it's so funny. I hear a lot. I hear a lot that people fall asleep watching my videos. And it's really like last night. I don't know if you guys watched my video. I didn't get my video out until like 1155 because I fell asleep on the couch and Andrew walked in the room at 1155 and I opened my eyes and like the screen is like ready to post the video. And I was like, Oh crap. And I like looked at the time and I saw it was right before midnight and I'm like post. And so I posted my video. I was like, I was like, Oh God, this is so late, but I'm still going to post it. Cause it's not midnight yet. <laughs> but yeah, now I fall asleep listening to my voice too sometimes. So it is what it is. <laughs> you knew it. You knew that's what happened last night. It was so bad. Well, I know when I'm editing the video and I get to the point where I'm like, well, I'm just going to shut my eyes and listen to what I'm saying. Like, I know when I get to that point, it's game over. Like, I'm just going to shut my eyes. And I'm just going to listen. And if I hear myself mess up, I'll edit it. And then it's like two minutes later, I'm out cold. It doesn't, it doesn't, it's done. <laughs> you watched it last night. Awesome. Oh, I don't even know what ASMR is something sensory. I think. Yes. So um, it, there, it is a soft close. It is a soft close. Um, so it adds uh, 15 seconds after a new bid. So it will automatically add 15 seconds. Uh, that's what's considered a soft close versus a hard close. Or a sudden death, <laughs> as they call it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I was bad. I was, I was out. Well, Thursday is our family dinner night. So that's part of the reason why we got out late for dinner and didn't get home till late. And so then I started editing it and it was like, I don't think I started editing until like nine, nine thirty. So it, was, it wasn't good. Um, we have a winner. Autumn Lee 1975 is the winner of the Dom Crystal elephant congratulations thank you again for your purchase let me set him in the back there make sure he's safe autonomous sensory meridian response oh that's a mouthful <laughs> yes what a bargain that is a great piece all right let me take you guys out to the main floor that's where we're heading next um, i'll take you through my office so i can show you that oh first of all here are the little I think I showed you guys these before, these little Salviati. They glow pink. So I'm going to sell those when I do the, um, the the next challenge. I have two. Those are fantastic. Yes, we will combine shipping. Um, let's go through here. Here's my friend. Um, here is, that's mine. Isn't it good? 
Yeah, that's my creepy friend that spies on me when I sit at my desk. It's a little, a little freaky. All right. So here we are at the tables. What would you, I'm not running Halloween because I actually have a Halloween sale scheduled. So oh, the funny cat, which one? <laughs> Brown pineapple cookie jar. I can't from the pineapple cookie jar. I know you want it so bad. The one that, oh, I can't run that one. I can run this one. This is a really great cat. This is um, Mexican uh, black clay. It's This is so good. This is so good. I've never seen it with this added colorful detail before. Usually it's just solid black. I know. <laughs> I, when I saw this, I was so excited. It was actually in my thumbnail. I was so excited. I was like, I don't know if I ever want to let that go. But you know what? I have a new cat friend, and this cat friend is old news. Sorry, cat. Never mind. He's going to come with his collar because I can't do it one-handed. So <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> Isn't he good? Um, and he, I'm, my assumption is he is Mexico, even though he doesn't have the marking anywhere. Um, but yeah, he's pretty great. So let's, uh, bring him over to the cart. I think we can grab maybe like, uh, three other items if you guys are interested. And then, um, and then I think we're good. So what else do we have? Let me see. Um, tell me. It's just, it's a black clay. Um, it's O-A-X-A-C-A-N. I can't, I can never pronounce it. Blue glass. Uh, this blue milk glass, I believe this is part of an oil light. Any wine glasses? Hmm. I have these martini glasses. They are Czech. I do have Artesania Rinconada. So these are Czech, um, I believe. They're too fun. There's two of them here. Oaxacan. Yeah, see, I'm like, I don't know how to. <laughs> I, can run, I can run these. Those have been sitting a while. I, I'll run them as a set. Both, the both of them. So here's the butterfly one. This one was my favorite, but I couldn't leave one behind. I couldn't just buy one, so I had to buy both. So we have these. I think they're like martini glasses just because they have that cone shape. Um, let's see, what else do we have? This is a great studio pottery. Is that a manger on the table? Yeah, so this is, um, this is actually Italian. I think it's Fontanini, but baby Jesus is missing. He's always missing. Bracelets. Where do you see bracelets? Oh, those bracelets. Yeah, I... I bought these to kind of like joke with Kate and to wear them out to eat, but I have these massively large hands and so I couldn't even get them over my hands. So the joke was on me. I'll sell them now. I know. I know. Instead, I got a stretchy bracelet the other day. I was like, you know what? I'm over the bangle thing. I'm going to get stretchy bracelets. I'm going to make those a thing. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to make stretchy bracelets popular. <laughs> Um, that is so funny. I have a friend whose dog would always chew up the baby Jesus. I, I swear to you, they had to get like three replacement baby Jesuses because the dog would always chew up their baby Jesus. So it is so funny to hear somebody else say that. <laughs> Any fairy lights? Um, yes, kind of. Stand by. Uh, nope, it's not going to work. I might have one somewhere. I'll have to piece it together. I, ha I have another topper. Does anybody see my topper anywhere? The blue one. Oh, it's over there. 
<laughs> I push your price more. I don't know if that one's going to work either. Nope. I'll have to keep on looking for pieces. We'll eventually piece them together. Look what do we have over here? So I'm doing a Halloween sale, and I think I'm going to be selling these weirdos in the Halloween sale. Um, I don't have any Ray Dunn mugs. I do have this Italian... Um, I have an Italian cigarette box. I think this one is good. I think this is a good one. Pin cushions. I don't know if I have any pin cushions. This looks like a, I was going to say, it kind of looks like bag me, but I don't know if it is. It is a great color. Hanging cats. I don't have any hanging cats. I'm sorry. We've got to pick a, like two more items, guys, and then we're going to run them. Let me know what you want me to run. The Halloween stuff that I bought the other day, I went crazy on Halloween. I'm going to be running that um, at a Halloween sale soon. Oh, the artist Sonia. You guys were asking about. Um, I don't think these are actually, I think these are the other ones. Those actually look like Lep. They're not signed. So there's a parrot. Now what else do we have here? Yeah, those aren't. Those are different. They're made in Uruguay, but they're not Artesania Rinconada. I don't have any De Rosa. I sold that. They're still cute, aren't they? Do you want me to run the cats? You guys love cats, I know. I know the Halloween stuff is so good. <laughs> How about we run the cats? Cats? Okay. Um, and maybe a rhino. Should we run a rhino too? That's the same marking. C-H. Was that a moose? Was it? I don't think it was. I don't think I have a moose. <laughs> I would know if I had a moose. You have me to, oh, <laughs> as long as you're selling it, you gotta sell it. <laughs> There's a swan. Do I have a zebra? Maybe. Let's look again. No, I don't have a zebra. But I feel like um, Puri is gonna be on later. And, um, Jamie, and I feel like they are probably going to have some artesania rinconada. So you should definitely tune into their sale. Actually, I'm going to be raiding into them as soon as I'm done here. Um, I think, I think they're live, right? I don't know. Are they live right now? I'm going to raid into them. And they, they always have, they have like every animal imaginable. If you're like, do you have a um, an armadillo? They're going to be like, of course we do. And if you're like, do you have a gecko? They're going to be like, duh. The blue pitcher. Let's do it. <laughs> you want the cigarette box? Okay, we can do the cigarette box. Yeah, aardvark. You name the animal and they pull it out of their stash of creatures. Does anybody see when they're going live? Because I did want to read into them. You messaged them. Okay. I, I swore I saw they were going live today. All right. So let's run through these items. Um, we'll run through these and uh, we'll go from there. I hope they're okay. I think they're outside DC though. So I don't think the quake would have affected them. Oh, is Drunk Susie still live? Wow, she's doing a marathon. She's doing a live shop with me, and she's like, she's on marathon. She's in marathon mode. What moose? <laughs> I don't think I have a moose. I'm so confused. <laughs> um, all right, let me grab. Uh, so what should we run first? Do you guys want me to run the cat first? The parrot. All right, I'm going to go grab the parrot. I feel like you really want that parrot, and I'm going to go get it for you. Do I have a moose? I'm so confused. I don't know where I have a moose. Where is there a moose? The wedding moose? Right by my arm. <laughs> I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Oh, the deer? 
Oh, these deer? I do not have any Longer Burger mugs. I'm sorry. I don't often pick up Longer Burger. I think I do have a, um, I do have a, a, a pitcher, but that's it. All right, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to run through these items. We've got some really fun stuff on the cart. I'm going to have to write post-its though. So I'm going to need a pen. Pen to write my post its Got a pen. I've got post its now. I need a pen. <laughs> it's always a battle around here for pens. I'm going to go in my office because I feel like somewhere in my office there has to be a pen. I'm, Sage stole the pens, I'm telling you. She must have. We'll blame her. All right, I guess the pencil's gonna have to. Do. Mom like even filled this up for me. She's like, here's a bunch of pens in case you need them. And uh, they're all gone. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> gonna use a, a mechanical pencil. I hate these things, but it's gonna have to work. All right, let's do this. I, um, for the record, I don't think that Sage actually stole my pen. That was a joke. I feel like sometimes I have to tell you guys I'm joking because some people don't get my humor. Um, okay. <laughs> Let's run something. <laughs> Let's run this awesome cat. Okay. Um, I don't know anything about him. I saw him. We locked eyes and it was love at first sight. But now I'm going to pass him on to somebody else because he's just that great. Um, let me add it in. We're going to call him a black clay cat. Um, and I think what really makes him special is that coloring right there, like I showed you guys. Um, I, I usually just see it's solid black. Or if it does have coloring, it's like a real like neutral color. For it to be that vibrant and that colorful, it's just really fun. Can I get a measurement on that? He's about 12 inches tall. And he is going to be about... All right. All right, so make sure you check shipping on this. Because he is 18 inches tall, he's going to be shipped in... I'm sorry, because he's 12 inches tall, he's going to go in an 18, 10, 10 box. Um, make sure he's got lots of padding so he gets to you safely. We're going to list him. Uh-oh, something went wrong. Oh, God, it's not going to let me list him. I have to do it twice. Oh, there it goes. Phew. Okay. Add the stream. Black cat. All right, here we go. <laughs> well... <laughs> I always, I was just doing face measurements and then somebody one day was like, you know, those are 12 inch tiles, right? And I was like, wait a second. I literally have a ruler built in no matter where I go in my shop. <laughs> so there we have it. Um, so check the shipping on this um, before you bid. It is heavy. Um, probably about five pounds would be my guess. Um, and I, I am a human scale most days. So we're going to start this. Um, $45 is the start. Um, and 30 seconds on the clock. No chips or cracks. No markings. And there we go. He's mine. I left my water in the back. <laughs> I'm going to take a sip and I was like, oh man, never mind. Hmm. All right. I saw your text, Sienna. Thank you. 
I hope everything's okay. I know I love this guy. Okay, so if you're over on Facebook or YouTube and you want to participate in the sale, um, you have to jump on over here to Knickknacks to join us. So that's N-I-K-N-A-X dot net. Um, so if you're on YouTube, there is a link down in the description. Uh, the video, you can just grab that. Um, otherwise, if you're over on the Crazy Lamp Lady Facebook page, send the page a message. There is an auto response directing you to Knickknacks. Um, and there's a link that you will receive and it'll bring you right over here to us. Um, but that is the that is how you can get over here um, and you can participate. We can, uh, we can, you can join in the conversation and hang out with us. Yeah, I feel like shipping to Canada might be a little spendy because it's a little, it's a little heavy, <laughs> but it's so good. And I wish that they had signed it because it's wild to me that it's not signed. It would make a great, it would make a great lamp. It would make a really great lamp. You know, he kind of reminds me of Italian pottery. It's like, he kind of like, he wants to be Italian with all this. <laughs> but then he's like, no, I'm from Mexico. I'm made of black clay. Reminds you of Pier 1. Oh, maybe. I don't know. A lot of the Pier 1 pieces I see over and over and over and over again. And I was like, okay, <laughs> that's Pier 1. Never seen one like this. I feel like if it was Pier 1, I'd see a lot of them. <laughs> His eyes do look like fish. Which is kind of funny if you think about it. So what is everybody's weekend plans? You're going to be hanging out here on knickknacks or do you have actual like real life plans? Because I'm probably going to be hanging out on knickknacks all weekend. <laughs> Rummage sales. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm probably going to hang out on knickknacks for most of the time. Thrifting, I'm hooked. Yeah. <laughs> knickknacks and laundry. Aw, hanging with your bestie for her birthday. Oh, the eclipse. Is that this weekend? It's the 8th, right? I don't know what day that is. I feel like that's Monday, right? Yeah, Monday. Yeah, I got an email from the kids' school that um, that they're, like, offering to dismiss kids early if they need to be. And I'm like, oh, is it a thing? <laughs> like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know. I think they're worried about kids looking at the, um, at the eclipse without proper eye protection. No school in Rochester. Wow. Aw. That's so crazy. They're canceling school. Didn't we have an eclipse before, like a couple years ago? Yeah, 2017. I don't know. Maybe I'm weird. I'm just like, I don't get that excited about it. I know like some people are traveling and it's really a big deal. I don't know. I'm just like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> I don't know. I guess maybe I should get excited about it. But also, I'm like, I don't have glasses. So if I stare at it too long, I'll probably burn my eyes to death. So I'm just not even going to, I'm not even going to look at it. Okay, this is a total eclipse. Okay, so it's going to be dark. That's the difference. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, you're staying home. Yeah. That's so crazy. I think my mom picked up glasses. I'll have to double check with her. She, I know she got some glasses somewhere. So she's got some glasses. Uh, so it's not total in Carlisle. That makes sense. Oh, we have a winner. Betsy Fines. Congratulations. 145 on this epic creature. You're going to have to get him a wonderful, spectacular hat. He's deserving of a great hat. <laughs> but you have to match his outfit. You have to match it. To have a matching hat that's just as equally great <laughs> thank you so much for your purchase all right i am going to write you a post-it that's the thing now we got to write you a post-it with our mechanical pencil old school oh, i hate mechanical pencils but i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it we're gonna call this black clay cat figurine mexico all right. Uh, oh, I got to put your name on there too, don't I? Betsy Fines. <laughs> I'm now out of practice with writing post-it notes. <laughs> put that on the back of his head. And I'm going to find a very safe spot to tuck him down here so he doesn't get hurt. Okay, there we go. You are welcome. Thank you for your purchase. All right, let's add another item. How about the parrots? Let's add the parrots. Thing. Here we go. Um, add the parrots, um, mama and baby parrot. So this is Uruguay. Um, this is not Artesania Rinconada. This is something different. Um, oops. I will show you the marking again in a moment. Um, while I'm doing this, another reminder to all of my friends who are watching over on Facebook and YouTube, um, come and join us on Knickknacks. Knickknacks.net. That's N-I-K-N-A-X dot net. That is where the sale is happening. So if you want to participate in the sale, if you want to join in the chat, you have to come over and join us here. All right. So here we go. We are going to run this little guy. Um, oh, this one is not marked. I think it's the same maker as these, though, and these are marked H, J, maybe H, O. They are made in Uruguay. Um, so, anyway, uh, they're very similar to Artesonia Rinconon, a different texture slightly, um, kind of a different feel. But we are going to run this mama and baby parrot. And uh, twelve dollars is the start. Thirty seconds, and here we go. They are running. I do like the parents. Well, that's a good idea. Well, actually, we've thought of that before, and um, <laughs> Sienna did screenshot for a while for us. But the problem is that if I screenshot them. Sage is the one packing the packages and it just creates extra work. So actually putting post-its on it is the best way to do it. What time am I on till? I'm on until we run these items here on the cart. Oh, Junk Susie, thank you for the raid. How did your shop the shop go? Or shop, shop, shop with me, I guess. Live shop with me. <laughs> it's not your shop the shop. It's a live shop with me. How did it go? It was like marathon shopping. It was so, that's so good. I was so glad. Um, oh, you're right. I didn't do a post for that. It's, it's okay. It's okay. It was an elephant. It's the only elephant I have in the sale. Um, it looks like Millie is our winner for $29. Congratulations on the parrot. Oh, absolutely. I'm actually so excited that you did it. I'm so excited that you did it because I feel like I just, I love those. I love those on that other place. I think they're so fun and they really get people like involved and excited. I feel like that's why a lot of people watch my videos is because they enjoy that experience of sh live shopping. 
Um, and so when you when you introduce the fact that they can actually buy stuff while they're shopping with you, I just think that's awesome. I think it's wonderful. So I'm very happy you were able to do that. And I, I hope it was a great success. And I hope you do another one soon. If you if you have one planned, make sure you let everyone know um, when, when you're doing the next one. All right, let me stick this here. Uh, what does it say? Calculated shipping calculated at checkout. Huh, I don't know why it does that. Next Wednesday. Okay, awesome. So everybody tune in next Wednesday for another live shopping experience. <laughs> I think that's great. All right, how about we do this Italian box? Um, I don't know exactly who this is made by. Um, it is made in Italy. It's not marked, but I'm almost 100% certain this is made in Italy. It reminds me of Bagney. I have a few pieces. I have the um, the sea, um, the sea garden picture, um, and that's kind of what it reminds me of. We're gonna call this Italian secret trinket box. And I just love the color on that. Um, I'm going to start this one at 18. We're going to do pre-boots. 30 seconds on the clock. Alrighty. Um, add to stream. Okay, so there you have it. Um, so this is Italian. You can see there is some chipping, like light chipping there on the edge because of the texture. I don't see any major chips or cracks though. And then here on the edge, there's a little bit. Um, but other than that, we're in pretty good shape. Um, so I'm going to start this at 18 and it's going to run for 30 seconds. Yes, I can do the other animals. I can do the other animals. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get my water. I'll be fine. I will survive. I will survive. Yeah, this thing is pretty heavy. And I love the glaze on it. It's, a, it's like a green, but it's also like a light blue. It definitely reminds me of the Sea Garden picture. The Bagney Sea Garden. Um, so um, if you want to pre-bid, I think you um, you just click on it and you should be able to enter a pre-bid. Chipping on all items. Um, not all items. There's some chipping. They're vintage. So I think some chipping is to be expected. Bought my first items this week. Awesome. Um, no, we do not have the ability. Well, we don't have the built-in ability to do giveaways, which I'm cool with. Um, <laughs> but if a lot of sellers will do, um, will do like a buyer's appreciation giveaways. So what that means is if like I would write down all of the winners of each of the items and like draw a winner at the very end. That's one way to do it. Um, it looks like Jen54321 is our winner congratulations that's such a fun that's such a fun username to say because it's five four three two one <laughs> like how fast can i say it <laughs> thank you for your purchase i am going to write you a post-it italian pottery cigarette box all righty yes jenny jenny k that is yes Yes, yes, yes. And I almost always give her credit for for that fact. I just I don't know. I don't know why I didn't mention her, but yes, that's the way she does it. She is the one who does it that way. And uh she she does an amazing job keeping track of everybody and running her giveaways and I think it's just amazing. I think it's just amazing. And she's actually the conductor on this weekend's train, which we're all very excited about. 
Um, I tried it and now can see shipping. Awesome. Oh my gosh. She finds the greatest thing. I told her, I, we were messaging today and I was like, listen, I'm like low key jealous on the things that you find. <laughs> She gets the most amazing collections. Like the Terry Kreider is incredible. Um, oh my gosh. And the, the, uh, the DeRosas that she's had recently. Ooh wee. It is just nuts. Um, all right. Let's do the rhinos next. We're going to do 30 seconds. Those are a little bit heavier. And um, a reminder that I am including Canada in shipping. Just make sure you check your shipping because um, I know it could probably be a little bit spendy shipping to Canada. So I just want to make sure that um, you are aware of the cost if you are bidding. Um, so uh, here is the Rhino family. It is marked on the bottom. I don't know what the marking means, but it does have made in Uruguay. Like I said, they're very similar to the Artesania Rinconada, but they're not, they're not exact. Um, so we're going to start this $12, 30 seconds. It's mama and baby again. I think that's the theme with all of these. We have the parrot and we have the rhino and then we're going to run the cats. So there we go. It is running. Yes, the theme for this weekend's train is Glass Menagerie. I think it should be pretty good. <laughs> it will be lots and lots of fun. Uh, start time, I believe, uh, is noon the start time tomorrow? Or is it sooner than that? If you go to the live streams tab on Knickknacks, you'll be able to see all of the scheduled trains. Uh, Jenny K, when does the train start tomorrow? When is your kickoff? I can't remember. I couldn't remember. Eastern. Noon tomorrow. Okay, noon tomorrow, Eastern. Fantastic. All right, Bandit Johnson 24 is our winner. Oh, 11 a.m. Eastern. <laughs> All right, Santa says 11 a.m. Eastern with great eye finds. <laughs> okay, <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. All right, congratulations, Bandit. Let me write you a post-it. Rhino. Mama. And baby. Bandit. All right. Great. Hey, Sunny. All righty. Let's run the kitties. Okay. We're going to run the cats next. Auction. Um, we're going to say mama. The same deal with these. These are Uruguay, and um, they are, I think these ones have the sticker as well. All right. Move to stage. Alrighty, there we have it. Um, so I'm gonna start these at 12, 30 seconds. And there it goes. It is running. We're getting mama and baby kitty. <laughs> it's really sweet. <laughs> What does Big Light smell like? It smells like formaldehyde.
Yes, yes, interesting. All right, we have a winner. It is VK. I'm sorry, VK. VK. Maybe I need to go on a VK. Uh, VK Wonder Eight is our winner. Congratulations and thank you so much for your purchase. Let me write you a post it. You're going to write that down. I know we, have, we, need a, we need a vacation. VK Wonder Mama. And baby cat figurine. All right, awesome. <laughs> Thank you for your purchase. Stick that on there and stick it down here. Okie doke. All right, let's run the bangles. Two of them. You're getting two. Um, there's some for somebody with small wrists, <laughs> smaller than mine. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, auction. We'll do pair of bangles. Yeah, I'll start them at four. Thirty seconds. Um, yeah, those are gonna be ounces. All right. Here we go. What is the, I knew you were going to ask me about the opening in inches. Small. <laughs> oh gosh. I don't want to walk all the way back to the, they're about that big in the opening. Yeah, my roller's in the back. I was trying to avoid having to go back to the back. Let me see if there's a roller over here. Avoid walking to the back. Posters are two by two. Hey, there's some chapstick in there. <laughs> All right, let's walk back. We'll walk back. We'll measure them. There's my giant chicken. Yeah, I'm going to grab the water. <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, if I walk back there, I get my water. So it's not the end of the world. All right, let's get a ruler. You know what? We're going to take a ruler up to the front. So we're not always like, hey, where's the rulers? Look, at I have got all these rulers. There's no reason why I don't have one up front. It's kind of silly, actually. Take a river with us, gonna take the water. <laughs> I never paint it just on some floor tiles. I love it. <laughs> I know that's a great rooster, isn't it? It's like as big as a small child. <laughs> don't don't forget, guys, I do have coffee in the buy it now. Andrew keeps reminding me, he's like, don't forget to tell people that you have coffee. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right. We've got lots of coffee. <laughs> and decaf. Yes, we've got decaf coffee. Um, all right. So it looks to be about two and a half and two and a half. There we go. We've got it. Now we can start. Ready, set, Four dollars start. Go. <laughs> and it's dreading. You haven't seen me in forever. Welcome. Here I am. I'll just leave it right here. Just leave it right there. So you're getting them both. I probably should show the actual bangles. Uh, this one's a plastic and this one is like carved wood. small wrist but big hands <laughs> i feel like i have like 
I have like weird stuff happening. I have massive hands. My parents are always like, you have piano fingers. I'm like, that's just a nice way of saying I have really massive hands. But thank you, mom and dad. Oh, we have a winner. It's Jersey Shell Fare You Well Finds. Thank you very much. Congratulations on your bangles. Let me write that down. <laughs> Better than stubby. That is true. Better than stubby. Better than stubby fingers. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I'll probably spend some time going through applications this weekend while I'm uh, sitting and watching the sales. So everybody be on the lookout because I will be going through. And as a reminder, if you get a rejection, please read your rejection. Um, we had some people that were asking why they were rejected, but um, the rejection actually says why you're rejected. So make sure you read it. Um, all right, I'm going to add this next. This is a studio pottery, but I love that teal glaze. Pottery, a teal pitcher. Um, we're going to start this one at 8. 30 seconds. Oh, this is heavy, too. Alrighty, it is listed. There we go. Move to stage. Okay, um, so next we're going to run this and then we're going to run the martini glasses. The email will come from district. I still haven't watched the new season. Don't spoil it. <laughs> Maybe that's what I'll do this weekend, too. Um, I've got lots of stuff to do this weekend. Um, so I absolutely love this picture. It's got this really nice blue teal glaze. It's also quite crude. You can see um, the glazing here on the edge. There's a little bit of chipping. Um, but the design on it is really nice. It's just very crude. Um, here is the bottom. No markings. No signatures. But it is a, a pretty cool piece. So, um... I believe it would be suitable for use, but I would probably just use it as a vase myself. So we're going to run this at $8. This is a start, 30 seconds, and it's running. Um, I've only rejected one person outright. So I've only actually rejected one person, and that is because they wanted to sell real cats. And I had to respond to them and say, you can't sell real cats on knickknacks. And then I sent them a rejection. <laughs> I think they were a scammer, and I just don't know how they thought that trying to sell real cats would get them approved. I don't understand. I didn't, I didn't make a whole lot of sense, but I had to reject them. So, you know, you could have asked me like three weeks ago and I would have said, I've never rejected anybody like outright, but no, now I can say I've had to reject one person completely and just say, you're not allowed on knickknacks. And that is because the real cats. <laughs> No, um, I've, I've approved people who are, who have never sold before. Um, I've approved people who, who are, have only had booths. Um, I've approved, I've approved people that are selling, um, crafts and they aren't selling like vintage stuff. Um, really the rejections I send, like if somebody says, you know, I've never sold online before, I'd like to give it a try. I'd probably reject them and say, okay, I'm sending you a rejection. Uh, please just send some photos of what you plan to sell. You know, that's what the rejection would look like. It would just be a rejection to say, hey, send me some pictures of what you want to sell on knickknacks. That's, that's the gist of it. So then you send me the, the pictures. And sometimes that takes a while for me to review the photos because I do get a lot of emails um, to that email address. 
Um, so that's why it's always best that if you are selling on another platform that you include those links because getting the rejection and then having to go back in and going back and forth is just so much. So my best advice to you is that if you are applying for knickknacks and you are selling on another platform, include those links because otherwise it's going to be a much longer process for you. Um, Love Good Finds is our winner. Congratulations on the picture. Beautiful, beautiful picture. All right, let me write you a post-it note. What do you think the best way to start selling? Um, I, I think the best way to start selling is to just start doing it. <laughs> just go for it. But don't get ahead of yourself. I mean, that's important. You should never get ahead of yourself. Don't be buying more than you can handle and don't be listing more than you can ship. So don't get ahead of yourself. Yeah, start with smalls. That's a good advice too. <laughs> I just photoshopped birds on everything. He's not lying. Um, he thought he was joking. Okay, let me stick this in here. Okay, last but not least. We got these in Florida. I got these when I was with Sandy and George. And we were at uh, Mount Dora um, Antique Mall, I think it's called. Um, how many people are on your team? That depends on which team you're referring to. My knickknacks team... I have uh, Brandon and Katie as marketing. Um, I have Christina who is helping with trains. I have Mary who helps respond to questions and pretty much she she is, she does every, I would not be able to be doing what I'm doing if it was not for Mary's help. Um, Mary helps a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, and then Sienna who's kind of part of our team but she's also employed by district. She's a district employee, but I consider her part of our team. Um, so, I mean, that's, that's kind of our team, I guess. <laughs> and Logan, oh, I can't forget Logan. Logan does, um, he does our, like, so if you list an item and you say that, like, this is, um, this is Murano and it's not Murano, Logan is responsible for, like, sending out emails and being like, hey, you need to fix this. This is not, um, this is not wrong. I, Sage, Sage is more of a, a crazy, like a CLL um, team member. But yeah, she's a Knickknacks team member too. Peter, <laughs> Peter is, is a good friend. I don't know if he's part of like the Knickknacks behind the scenes team. But well, he's an honorary team member. Peter, you're honorary team member. How's that feel? I'm going to get you some merch. <laughs> He's a consultant. <laughs> He's a phone a friend. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, let me add this here. All right, so we're going to add these. Um, these are handmade in Czechoslovakia. They are marked on the bottom. I can't read it, though. I don't. It's a name of some sort. But they are signed by the artist. Um, I'm going to add these. Martini glasses, um, Czechoslovakia. Um, so we're going to start these at 18, um, 30 seconds. Uh, let's see. Calculated. Alrighty. Um, and where did they go? Oh, there we are. Okay, move to stage. All right, here we go. Martini glasses with bugs. The, the yes, that's exactly what they are. <laughs> Do they glow or not? Let me check them. I don't think they will. A butterfly and whatever that thing is. 
Um, you have an awesome day too, Rachel. Yes, Peter is the glass guy. Oh, a dragonfly maybe. They do not glow. Ooh, I mean the eyes are kind of like reflective, but I don't think that's glowing. I think that's just super reflective. An abstract B perhaps. Maybe. Let me just double check the edges to make sure we don't have any chips or cracks. I think we're good there. We're good here. Um, you can see they're a little bit of a different size. This is marked um, handmade, made in Czech Republic. And then like I showed you, there is a marking there on the bottom. But I can't read it. So we're going to run these. Um, we're going to start them at 18 and they're going to run for 30 seconds. And there it goes. They are running. They are running. Oh, goodness. So does... Yes, Facebook Marketplace counts as another platform, but... Um, a lot of the links like to the Facebook marketplace platform, I can't open them because you need to be like a member of a group or, um, I, I'm not able to access them. So if I'm not able to access the links, a lot of the times I will send a, um, a rejection and just ask for photos. It just depends. I love them, but I don't drink. I mean, that's kind of where I'm at. I mean, I drink wine and beer and I think it would be hard to put either of these in here. I have fancy water glasses. <laughs> Why did you change from whatnot? Um, because this is my marketplace and I feel like I need to be present here and I feel like we're doing great things. It's a lot, um, more positive and, um, it's a, it's a, I like the community here. So that's kind of what drove me to, it's just, I, I built my own. <laughs> I built my own <laughs> with the help of district, of course. Hand blown honeybee. There you go, honeybee. I have not given her the headbands yet. I have not given them the headbands yet. I feel like that's a one headband at a time type deal because if I give them all at once, it's just going to be chaos. And she's probably going to pick them apart. Probably the one with the eggies. She's going to be like, eggies! And then she's just going to start picking all the eggies off of it. You know these! Yes, you do! You were there for this! I will. I will post a picture of Laurel in her head in her hat. All right, Betsy Fines is our winner for $53 on the pair of glasses. Congratulations. Thank you for your purchase. I'm going to write you a post-it note. Fancy, fancy post-it. <laughs> Hang on. I need to adjust my mechanical pencil. Martini glasses. I can spell. Let's see, finds. All right, awesome. Cool. Oops, I just lost a post. All right, I'm going to sit down for a second. I'm going to talk to you guys, and then I think I'm going to pass you along. We'll see if somebody else is live. I don't know who's, who's going to be live. Um, anyway, um, thank you guys for hanging out with me today on this beautiful Friday afternoon slash evening. Um, this was a lot of fun. We don't really do lives on Friday, but this was good. This was a lot of fun. Um, I do have a, a few, few sales planned for this week. Um, I have a sale planned for Wednesday, Shop the Shop. I may plan one. I might schedule one for Tuesday. I'm not sure. Um, like I said, I got to get this place. Like I got to get some stuff moved. Like I'm trying to move it out so then I don't have to move it, move it. You know what I mean? Um, so, oh, great. Wonderful. Um, so I'm going to try to um, schedule as many sales as possible. So just keep an eye on um, the live stream tab. Um, and then next Saturday, I have a sale scheduled. I think that I called that a Halloween sale. So I think I'll be selling off some of the Halloween stuff I have. Um, and I will be preloading that. And then, uh, yeah, make sure you guys tune in this weekend for the awesome train. Um, that Jenny K put together. She, uh, her last train was amazing. And I know this one's going to be equally amazing. Um, and, uh, yeah.
think that's what we've got going on. We've got our big train coming up, our where in the world train. Going to be super fun. Um, the sign up filled up and uh, we, we've got that to look forward to. And uh, we've already got the next theme figured out for May and the dates for that. So stay tuned for that announcement. And don't forget the handmade, uh, the handmade uh, market, which is April 26th. So I am going to be playing around with tags and collections a little bit this weekend. Um, so be looking for different tags and the different setup on things. Um, I was kind of playing with it a little bit today, uh, but I ran out of time. So I, I am kind of playing with the tags and trying to get things better organized um, and set up on the marketplace. So you'll see some changes on the homepage as far as how things are sorted, um, as well as um, the tags and stuff. So I'm just trying to get things a little bit more organized um, and easier to navigate. Um, so I think that's really it. It. Um, and other than that, I'll be in the chats this weekend on the train and I will see you guys on Tuesday for coffee chat, maybe. And uh, everybody have a great weekend. Everybody have a wonderful weekend. And uh, we're going to raid over. We're going to raid over to My Petite Vintage. Um, and uh, yeah, have a great weekend, you guys. And uh, I'll see you around. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, let's see. Let's end and head over. Perfect. Here we go.